mainline Pokemon games are missing something. And, and it's no secret, they've been the same rinse, repeat, copy paste games we've seen for years. And I think it's time we talk about implementing new things. One of the coolest things Pokemon ever did, and I think a lot of people will agree with this, is an XD Gale of Darkness when they introduced Shadow Pokemon. And now when I say we all want Shadow Pokemon to come back, I don't think I'm wrong. I think we would all would love to see Shadow Pokemon return to the game. But here's something new I think they should add to these games. One of my favorite things to do in Pokemon Go is actually trading Pokemon. I love just sitting there with my friends and just going back and forth trading this and that, seeing how the stats are re-rolled. But the thing that I love to do the most when it comes to trading Pokemon is to see if I get a lucky Pokemon. Now lucky Pokemon, uh, their, their Stardust costs are actually cut in half, meaning they're easier to max out their power level or CP. Mainline Pokemon games should take, take a hint. I would love to see lucky Pokemon implemented in mainline games. And I think going forwards with the Diamond Pearl remakes and maybe even Arceus, this could be a great time to introduce that. Now, why do I think this would be great? I think it'd be great because it would just be another layer of variation. It would be another, you know, like a Z move or a Gigantamax. It's something to make that pot of things that make the Pokemon games, you know, each Pokemon or each collection of a team unique. It's just another piece to that puzzle. So we're gonna talk about three things today. The first one, we're gonna talk about how we can fix the spam until trade issue can be fixed. That is simply because in Pokemon Go, you can trade each Pokemon once, but in the mainline games, you can trade any Pokemon as much as you want, and there's no cost to trading as well. Then after that, we're gonna talk about how a, a lucky Pokemon would be buffed, bonuses a lucky Pokemon would get. And then the last thing we're gonna talk about is how we can prevent lucky Pokemon in a, in a team from becoming too broken. I don't think a team of six lucky Pokemon would be great. I think that'd be horrible because then the entire meta of the game of competitive Pokemon and Pokemon in general would just be changed overnight. So that there needs to be fixed as well. First to just the act of trading. In Pokemon Go, you need to have what is called Stardust to trade a Pokemon. Essentially, it's just a currency you spend at the maximum level of friendship between you and the other player, it's only 100 Stardust per trade for a non-special. So just like a regular Needle Ran or an Alakazam. But if you start introducing legendaries, shinies, you know what can, is considered a special trade, you have to pay a little more. But in the mainline games, that doesn't exist. It doesn't, the mainline games don't care about what you're trading and how much you trade them. The mainline games just allow you to trade. So I think to fix this, there's a couple things. One, Maybe there's an item you can collect, and not too rare, but also not common. And when you're trading, you can take this item on and off. Both players have to turn this item on. When this item is turned on, it consumes one of them. And then the option for a lucky trade is enabled. That chance becomes, you know, enabled. And the reason I like this idea is because it allows Pokemon to continue to be traded over and over again. But at the same time, you do have to pay to have that Pokemon traded you know what i mean there's it's just not free you just can't sit there and yada 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 the reason i think this is good as well is because people are used to the trading mechanics people aren't gonna like just being able to trade one pokemon once even though sometimes that's usually how it works sometimes you need to evolve a Kadabra or a hunter you need that trade evolution and 99 percent of those trade evolutions are trade backs i don't think having limited trades per pokemon is the right approach i just think having an item is the right way the the other end of this would be once that pokemon is traded and that pokemon does become lucky then that pokemon will be locked and you will know that pokemon is going to be locked going into the trade because you activated the item and that's how the item works this way you can still trade pokemon freely without the lucky trade and trade as we've known it the last 25 years or you can enable the lucky trade chance and have the pokemon lock again it can get a little spammy i guess but it is a fix, and I think it's a fix that would work. The second thing I wanna talk about is the buffs that the Pokemon get when it becomes lucky. Now, I mentioned earlier in Pokemon Go, their Stardust cost is cut in half. I think the best way to have, you know, the Pokemon Go Stardust cost cut in half translated to Pokemon mainline games would be in experience points. Now, traded Pokemon already have a 50% cut on the experience they need, or is that right? No, they gain 50% more experience. I don't know if that adds up. My point is, there kind of already is a system in play. So maybe the lucky Pokemon now, instead of getting 50% experience, 
gets 100% more experience. So double, I think that's how it adds up. Double experience. So instead of needing a million experience to get what, like, like Mewtwo to level 100, now you need 50,000. That's a little broken. Anyways, the next buff that I want to talk about that could be implemented is a, like Lucky Pokemon, Lucky Pokemon have a stat floor. In Pokemon Go, you have three stats, attack, defense, HP, and they go from a range of zero, the absolute floor, the worst it could ever possibly be, to 15. And in Pokemon Go, a Lucky Pokemon has a floor of 10, 10, 10, 10 attack, 10 defense, 10 HP, and I think in Pokemon Go, or not Pokemon Go, I think in mainline games, it'd be cool if Pokemon had a floor. Maybe all six stats, maybe just two of them. Maybe that one stat that is boosted, the red stat, you know, with their, their nature, maybe that only has a floor. Or maybe because, let's say you have like, I don't know, a, a special attacker, their special attack has a floor. I think having their stats also having a floor, or maybe their stats get a little more, a bit of an increase per level, would, would be great as well. Somewhere where their stats just can't be crap, or they just get good, They're, they have good stats. I think on the other end of this, where stats and leveling up comes in, is the, the, the idea of IVs and EVs. Now, IVs are inherent to the Pokemon, but EVs are, you know, you get those when you defeat a Pokemon, you defeat a Jigglypuff, and you get like, I don't know, like one, like, I don't know, HP EV, I'm guessing, I don't know. But you get like one, and then you add up these EVs, and now that affects your stat growth. But maybe a lucky Pokemon, instead of getting one, would get two, a, a plus one boost. Or maybe if you would get two EVs from defeating a Pokemon, now you would get four, a times two EV increase. This would one, help competitive Pokemon building by like so much, and, and Pokemon has helped competitive players with their builds a lot in the past, but I think this is just another step that can be implemented to make it easier to build a competitive Pokemon. Therefore, I think the competitive community would love it. Also, regular people would like it. Your Pokemon would just be stronger and who doesn't want a stronger Pokemon? So I think that would be a really cool way to see lucky Pokemon implemented as well. EV boosts. The last thing that I could think is cool, and this was kind of left behind in like Gen 3, like when it mattered, is like, like the beauty contest or the stat contest and along with this also friendship. Uh, friendship, Matt, mm, friendship's been more and more relevant the past couple of games where if you have higher friendship, sometimes your Pokemon can wake itself up or it can cure itself from a status effect like paralysis. Friendships become a little more relevant. Back in like Gen 3, 4, 5, it was just, um, maybe not 5, I don't really remember Gen 5. Gen 3, Gen 4, it was just cool. Your Pokemon likes you. It doesn't like you. I never saw any benefit from it. But I think lucky Pokemon, once they're maxed out, on their friendship, they stay maxed out. And it's easier to max them out on their maximum friendship. Regular Pokemon, how they work is when you put them in the box and you don't use them for a while, their friendship kind of dwindles. I think that's how it works. But now they would just stay. You have a maxed out, you know, freaking lucky Garchomp. That thing's gonna be your best friend no matter what. And it's gonna get more IVs. And it's gonna have a stat floor. And maybe it'll also get more experience or a combination of those four things. But essentially having the lucky Pokemon is gonna be stronger. And it's gonna be easier to get stronger. And this is where I think there needs to be a little more like, what's the word, corralling? I don't know. Like a little more control on the lucky Pokemon. The thing is, is if you have a, a team of six lucky Pokemon, that's gonna trump a team of non-lucky Pokemon 100% of the time, every time. There is no question or no doubt about that. So I think what needs to happen is like, let's say Gigantamax or Megas or what is it, like Zemus? I think is what they were. You only get one per battle. You can only use one Mega, one Gigantamax. You can only have one lucky Pokemon on your team. And that lucky Pokemon can't Gigantamax. That lucky Pokemon can't have a Z move or whatever. You see, the limits on it will make the strategy that much greater. And it won't let it be broken. So Mr. Buff Strong Guy won't be able to walk around with six lucky, like, you know, like, I don't know, like Garchomps or whatever. All you know, you won't be able to be super broken. I think that would be a great way to corral our limit lucky Pokemon, which I think is gonna be necessary because lucky Pokemon out of hand instantly, easily, without shadow of a doubt. That's what I think needs to be added to mainline games. Like lucky Pokemon are a no-brainer. Bring shadow Pokemon back too while we're at it because that would be freaking cool. But that's a whole different video. Anyways, if you checked out the video, of course you checked it out. If you liked the video, you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and thumbs up, it really helps. Go ahead and drop a sub if you're with it. If you're not with it, please drop a comment. If you're not with it, dude, that's totally cool too. I just hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I upload once a week. I stream on Twitch, 
Twitch TV dot Ramex three. What am I doing with my finger here? I'm watching it on the camera. I'll put it here. So yeah, I uh, hope to see you on Twitch. Hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Um, that's that. Peace. So I think to have that, the Stardust cost cut in half, have that translate uh, as accurately as possible would be just, I think the way to have that Stardust cost cut in half translated to mainline games would be how to, blah, blah. I think the way to have that Stardust, trans, that, that Stardust, holy fuck. I think the right way to have that Stardust cost transferred over to Pokemon main, I think the best way to have that main of the